Laura, hello. Welcome to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Werewolf by Night was phenomenal. Oh, thanks, Brandon. <laughs> of course. Thank you. It was so good. Now, I, I want to hear, you, Werewolf by Night explores a really neat looking pocket of the Marvel world. I want to hear for you, Laura, on set, what was kind of like the most marvelous thing you think you saw through this experience? What I actually loved so much about it is kind of contradictory to that, which is that it didn't feel like this big Marvel project. It felt like this really interesting experimental creative little indie movie that we were making so i kept kind of having to remind myself that we were part of this bigger universe that you know i'd watched so many of the films and have been such a fan of and um yeah i kept just having to 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 think that over and over because it just felt so creatively free and so collaborative and and just it, that made it really fun and that was really unexpected for me so that was you know the best that's, that's awesome. I, you guys filmed in Georgia at Trillith Studios. I'm pretty sure there were other uh, movies and shows filming alongside you. Did you bump into any other superheroes or villains and get any I, advice from other Marvel actors when you joined? I, I didn't. I mean, I had uh, I, I know a couple of actors who have been in the universe in different um, in different capacities and everybody just had nothing but brilliant things to say about working for Marvel. So, you know, cause I did a little asking around whenever I first got offered the role and was like, what was your experience? And everybody just said, Oh my goodness, it's just like a family and people are thrilled to be there and everybody's so enthusiastic. So, you know, and that was absolutely my experience of it as well. And I caught, I caught a little glimpse of like other sets of other movies and, you know, some people, but I didn't, I didn't get to like meet any of the other actors who were working at the time. And I think there's something just, you know, even within that context, everything is so locked down and secretive. So it's, it, and that excites me because I still remain a fan of those things. And so I almost don't even want to see that yeah. because I'm going to stay a fan. Steer clear of the spoilers. And that way you save yourself from possibly dropping one, you know, on something else. So, no, that's, yes, yeah. that's a very good point. Yeah. <laughs> you mentioned it's, it's the Marvel family. We also, in this, in this Werewolf by Night story, Elsa has an untapped backstory where she kind of mentions stories from her family, which from comics where, you know, we're familiar with Ulysses and Colin and other family members Elsa has. I loved to hear when, when you got the role of Elsa, did they lay out a family tree for you? Are you familiar with the things she's talking about? Is it things you still hope to explore in the future? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I would love to be able to delve more into her background going forward. Um, and, you know, I did do all of that, the reading and the research, you know, I read Next Wave and I read her one shot novel and things like that um, to get an idea of it. And then I discussed with Michael, our director, how much of that we were keeping as truth for her character and how much we hadn't decided on yet and things like that. So, yeah, there's a lot of her background, I think, that stays true. Uh, but not all of it. And, you know, we find Elsa in a moment where she has been away from her family and she has, um, you know, been kind of disengaged from that whole world that her father brought her up in. And now she's coming back into it for the first time. So for me, that was so much more of an interesting way to be able to see that character for the first time is as she's coming back into a situation, particularly one that makes her very uncomfortable and in which she doesn't know in the context, she doesn't really know who she is or where she belongs anymore. So that for me made it really interesting. I, love it. I can't wait to see more. You have any idea when, when that might be? I wish I did, <laughs> but even if I did, I wouldn't be allowed, allowed to tell you, but no, I have no idea. <laughs> I Fair enough. Well, honestly, thank you so much for the time. Werewolf by Night was fantastic. Congratulations and enjoy the ride. Thanks.